Hey, welcome back to Game Does Play Games. GPG! Hi, we were just talking about how we'd like to meet uh, certain actors. Um, like Tom Hiddleston? Like Tom Hiddleston. Dude's uh, awesome. I would like to have, like, coffee with Tom Hiddleston, but to be honest, maybe it's because of my inner, like, fanboy. Well, I just want to interact with RDJ, Robert Downey Jr., as Tony Stark. Huh. And, like, have, like, a sass-off back and forth, because I think that would complete me. You know what I would love? I would love to get a beer with Martin Freeman. I oh, think Martin he Freeman. would be a blast that, uh, to get a beer with. You know, with. I'm going to second that. I think dude, that would be amazing. He would, like, I hear he's a pretty goofy dude. Like, that's all, like some of my friends actually got the opportunity to uh, work on the Civil War set. My right? So wow. Yeah, Fucking crazy. <laughs> um, yeah, we might get into some... I want to out. I want to have a Sherlock moment with Benedict Cumberbatch. Oh, yeah, Dude, right. everyone loves Benedict Cumberbatch, though. It's Benedict fucking Cumberbatch, of course they do. I mean, he's pretty awesome. Don't get me wrong. I'll fight that one. Although, Benedict Cumberbatch is one of those guys that I'll never understand why, like, so many people are so, Im like, immensely attracted to him. That's the thing. I don't think he's a very good-looking dude. I mean, I he's, think he's, he's, not, he's not bad-looking either, but, like... He also doesn't really have a chin, and that freaks me out a little. He has such an <laughs> interesting look about him. Don't maybe worry, I internet. mean, maybe that's what it I is. Gotcha. But here's the thing: I think he's immensely talented. Well, yeah, and, and that's I think that's why that's... I'm so excited for Doctor Strange. Um, in case of for those of you people who haven't been tuning into any of this, uh, I do a comic book news thing that I'll be starting up in the next I don't know month or so, maybe last. Hopefully, really soon. Hopefully. We're, we're... We've done what five prototypes? We have done. We probably in theory have done like six. Yeah. But like, so uh, we're we're getting to that point where we're actually getting ready to start like going live with your show, and I'm really really excited to see where it goes. Yeah, I hope it's good. I hope you guys all want to check it out. Um, I mean, if you're into comic books, right? Like, it's yeah. it's a, going to be a really good place right. to kind of get some of. The and I do talk a bit about video games when they come to comic books, but it's not often. There are some new news that I'll share in the next uh, little video I shoot. Oh. Um, um, so one of the, uh, uh okay, I, it's no mystery to those who know me, I am a huge Street Fighter fan. I've been so since I was a kid, um, and one of my favorite, favorite adaptations was Street Fighter Assassin's Fist. This was a YouTube series, uh, that was <gasps> oh, done yeah. so fucking well. Yeah, I heard Everything about that Everything from one. top to bottom was with a, a, somebody with such a love of the series the, that attention to detail was beautiful. They released an ad for their next series, and they are promoting the new Street Fighter game coming out. I, uh, oh, I, there it is. Uh, apparently it's going to start up in March, and I am losing my shit Hell yeah, because man. it's the Whoa, same geez. team that got hired by Capcom to do this. So now they oh, have a budget. There it is. Good for them. That's actually yeah. really cool. That's yeah, awesome. Oh. That's, that's one of those those kinds of success stories that like really become motivating because it's like these people made this this series just as like a fan made thing and it was so well right. done and so well received that the company was like yeah we want to fund this this like so that you can make more right. stuff right and it's kind of like with Team Four Star and their DBZ yeah. even though it pokes fun at Dragon Ball Z it's like hey. Like, Funimation was totally cool with the jokes that were thrown there, and they're like, hell right. oh, yeah, we'll support you. I mean, Nappa is a voice in friggin', uh... In Dragon Ball Xenoverse. Yeah, in Dragon Ball Xenoverse, yeah. Like, how crazy is that? I was like, talking to a friend of mine where, because he's a big fan of that game, and I liked that game too, to a point. Yeah, it's got its issues, issues, but you know. But, um, there was, like, I love Dragon Ball. I love Dragon Ball Z, I love them all. But after watching all of Dragon Ball Z abridged and then playing a game that takes the Dragon Ball Z stories like seriously, I was like, oh man, was, I kind of wish that I could play like the abridged version of this game. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> well, wonder if they'll... Is oh my bad? god. No, that's fantastic, man. That means that they're doing their jobs right. Yeah. Oh, without a doubt. Uh, they've also been doing Final Fantasy VII abridged. Yeah, that, one's a, is, that one's a little more weird. I've only caught the first like weird. three episodes yeah, or four episodes. I, I do like the, the decisions that they made, though. I think um, it's, it's fun, though. It's definitely fun. Um, I was really excited to show it to uh, to Intangible. He was less enthused about the whole thing. Mostly because it wasn't Attack on Titan abridged. <laughs> he oh my loves God. that one. 
Dude, Team Four Star, I know you'll never watch. Well, if you ever do watch it, I don't know. Please continue Attack on Titan. They do do a Team Four Star play series. Yeah, oh, right? I, yeah, and they, they play it as their characters from some Oh, of their, that's so good. I've, I've seen a little bit of Vegeta plays. <laughs> oh, dude, Vegeta Trillin plays. plays Outlast was awesome. <laughs> oh, I have to check that out. It's yeah, I, I love the, everything that they those guys have come yeah, up with. They're a really like, great company. They really are. I also like they did another series, Helsing uh, Ultimate, mm, yeah, yeah. where they actually got the voice actor for Piccolo and the voice actress who does the main character in Black Butler. They signed on. Wow. Yeah. They were like, we won in. This Just is for the Helsing one or for all Just of them? Just for the Helsing one. Oh, because... Anything else, but that's like... I remember listening, watching the first episode being like, this is fucking awesome. Yeah, right? That's badass. That is pretty badass. As we're fanboying over here about other people's stuff, but still, it's good. Well, that's okay. I mean, we there's not too much... some love to our other YouTubers. Yeah, and I mean, there's not that much going on in the game right now, other than, like, these little... Oh, this is interesting. Actually... Apparently Elixir, you know how like Elixir is like one of those normal things you get in pretty much any RPG or JRPG? Yeah. Apparently it's a big deal in this game. I mean, you know, I remember how cool it was that Elixirs and other JRPGs, like, that's the thing that I want a thousand of. Elixirs were, were always those items that, like, cured any ailment. Mm, true. Yeah, they really did a lot. I think you got full health from them, too, didn't you? Or, like, have uh, health at least. That one changes based on the game. I think it depends on the game. Nice. Now, nice. Real quick. Real nice. The only remaining elixir left in the world of humans is in custody of the church. That's interesting. I think this is a clue. I wonder if they're going to try and mass produce it. Make um, some money. What was he say? Money. I money. Had a point. Well, you don't have a point. Yeah, let me know when that point comes back. I'll stop throwing dollar bills. Because I'm too poor to have like 20s and 100s. Like. <laughs> I, I, I gotta, like, really they're nickels and dimes that are falling out of here, That's but... A, son of a bitch. Ugh. Poo brain. The poo brain is real. Poo boo 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 brain. Oh, it's okay. Well, we'll come back to that if you think of it. I will never. Just blame it on, can like, pregnancy. I almost said cancer brain. I meant pregnancy <laughs> brain. Whoa! I meant oh. pregnancy oh. brain. Oh. But, like, oh. can't... We're gonna get into a fight to forget that ever happened. Oh. No, yeah, Man. no. I just realized I meant to say... I meant to say pregnancy <laughs> and cancer came out. I'm like, that's not what I meant. <laughs> like, whoa, that's... I mean, should not be no. laughing. Well, I didn't mean it's, it like that. Like, I just... It's funny because it's so unexpected. Yeah, I didn't mean to say that, and then I heard it coming out of my mouth, and I was like, whoa, whoa, not so, cool. Uh, one of my favorite shows as a kid, and I still occasionally watch bits and pieces of it, mm -hmm. is Who's Lines It Anyway. Oh, sure, sure. And Look some of the, like, outtakes... Dude, this is oh, a terrible man. camera angle, by the way. Camera, camera. Um, some of the outtakes were so fucking funny. At one point... Uh, one of my favorite segments was when Ryan and Colin did that, like, telemarketing. <laughs> oh, like, dude, their telemarketing CDs. shit's so funny. Uh, at one point, uh, Colin was kind of caught off guard with the intro. So Ryan was like, we don't know what you were watching, so we won't tell you we'll return you to it. And Colin had a major poo brain moment. He went, yeah, but we're watching animal porn. And then went, <laughs> and then he tried to make it better by saying, Mary had a little lamb, we'll come back in just a second. <laughs> and Ryan lost it. Drew had to restart the segment. Oh, it was so, so good. good. And Ryan so was like, good. "Sounded so happy." We're watching animal porn. <laughs> <laughs> we're watching animal. Oh man, uh, we had a moment like that. We were doing a, a project in theater appreciation back at COD, and we were talking about. Um, I feel like the diary of Anne Frank at one point. Oh no! And this one girl is like, um, cause we, like oh, a, we, no. we did like a newscast kind of thing for our final project. And she's like, oh, you know, like a fun story like the Diary of Anne Frank. And she's like, wait, I don't mean it's a fun story. Oh, no, it's a terrible story. <laughs> and, like, we were, like, dying. Oh, it man. was so funny. Because, you know, people just use those placeholder words. Yeah. Like, she didn't mean nice or fun story. Like, <laughs> well, yeah. I, Nothing's I, more fun than <laughs> that. Than that, hiding that from to, the Nazis. That used to happen to me a lot, too. One of my, <laughs> my default phrases are like, that's fair. And that's like my my like way of acknowledging like, something. That's not and fair, oftentimes Chris. people are like, no, that's that's really why would you say that? Like that's you're stupid. See, like, we oh. all say point of that we, we all say dumb things, and I'm just the master of all the dumb things. Yes. Uh oh. Oh no. It's a heartless. You know what's, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> this looks like a heartless. I don't know. 
Like, like raw? It, it looks like one of the shitty, like, ah, oh, we're not gonna use this heartless in our game. Yeah, here, you can borrow this. <laughs> no, this, no. So, see, when I encountered this, this reminded me of our Titan Souls playthrough. Oh, yeah! You know what these creatures always um, remind me of? In a Final Fantasy, what, what are they called? The big, like, plant guys who always, like, poison you or give you, like, fucking, know, um, um, blindness or whatever. Mm. And in Final Fantasy IX, like, one of them, like, captures Vivi and, like, implants it inside its belly. And then you get to play as Vivi inside the stomach, just trying to like set it on fire from the inside. That's it's awesome. Super, it's a super cool fight. Still have to play that one. Oh, uh, yeah, I love Until it's completion. I remember, I remember trying to get into it. Dude, it took me forever to actually beat it. It was, it was the first Final Fantasy I ever really tried. Um, hey, I'm almost dead. Can somebody heal me? Oh, yeah, hey, you know. Edna's, or Lila's almost dead too. Oh, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, Lila, Lila is, is dead. <laughs> you know, for a while, back I, up, Tony, back I up. was. Just don't get hit. For a while, I, I made it a goal to play through every Final Fantasy game that had ever been made. Oh. And uh, I played through the first game, and I was like, nope, I I don't want to do that oh, again. Shit. Oh, God. Jesus, Dad. Oh, oh God. Oh, oh. I'm advertising. Woo! Good call, good call. I'm going to go ahead and heal. Oh, thank you. I'm going to go ahead and fight this little guy real I quick. I can't here. heal you. Oh, wait, I'm not healing. There we go. There we go. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. It's oh, boy, almost oh, boy. dead. I know. We're so close. If we fail here, I'm going to be really disappointed. I'm going, man. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. But to this guy. Oh, we super attack or something? Um. How much yes. health does this fucker have? Oh, shit. Did you get it? Oh, I need to get more SP is what I need. All right. There, now we'll try do this. It, do it. One, two, three... There we go. Oh, oh I'm sorry, guys. I was just like, I was just trying to in it for the winner. Power links with the. <laughs> now the blessing should return to Marlin. Saray. Ah! Ah! Alicia. You couldn't see it, could you? So the Squire's Pact is affecting you. No, I just wasn't paying attention. Alicia and Miklio nearly died because of you. Well, I'm not dead, and Saray was only hiding it for Alicia's sake. I understand that, but even so... He's at his limit. Yeah, so this moment is, is interesting because... For some reason, they made a big deal about Saray not seeing the Hellion and then almost killing Alicia because of it. Um, but I think it's more complicated than Saray just like not seeing that. The, what do you mean? Hellion. Saray couldn't see the Hellion. Like he just can't see them at all. She's so just swinging at nothing. Or? No, no, no. It was in this specific moment. I think. Um, Maybe they'll mention it, actually. Well, yeah. let, let's wait for the cutscene. At one point, there was something mentioned of deterioration. Thanks. Yes, yes. So, I think the idea was that Saray, for a brief moment after they defeated the Hellion, just ceased to see the Hellion and assumed that it was gone. Um, and so, in turn, it, it opened up the opportunity for it to attack. So, Ooh. I think we'll, we'll s figure out a lot more about what this means about yeah. Saray degenerating, but... That's an interesting thought. That kind of actually makes being a shepherd a lot more interesting. Yep. There's a lot of this stuff, too, which <clears throat> we'll be able to get through when uh, um, Edna gets her... Powers. Powers, yeah. Because right now we still have only Lila's. All right, oh, well, we have cool. to come up with a question of the day, peeps. So, question of the day. Um, I, uh, we can even ask about what they think about the deterioration. Like, yeah, what, I think What do you think is actually going on with Saray? And um, do you think that this scenario that we just went through kind of um, asks enough questions to justify us going out here and, and fighting these Hellions? Yeah, I agree. Totally agree. So, cool. Feel free to comment down below with your answer. Do that like it. Do that subscribe. Yeah. Yeah. We'll see you next time, guys. Thanks for watching, everybody. See Bye. you in the archives. 
Jen made a good point the other day. Uh, Chris was making a thumbnail for Arcane Duels, and uh, while Chris was making it, because he was making it kind of goofy looking, he's like, <laughs> and then Jen's like, you get him a nightclub when you're like doing bad things. <laughs>